Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Holy Roman Emperor of Austria. And we also are the King of Austria. And we also beat up on the Ottomans in the last game. Now they have rebel issues. And uh, they don't have manpower issues anymore. And they also... Oh no, that's Russia. They do... No, they still don't have any manpower issues. But I'm thinking they still have a decent amount of debt. Yep. Which is really good. Honestly, that gives me a huge foot up on them. Or a leg up or... Whatever you want to call it. Um, so I need to finish up these wars over here. This is costing me a bunch of uh, uh, points. Granted, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna revoke whenever I want to when I'm ready. Because I'm thinking I still need to be doing some. Uh, I need to do a little bit of research um, and find out what exactly is the optimum way of revoking. So let's actually see. Can I get you guys? Very good. Stack white. Easy. So let's get you guys separated out here. Have the no siege leader over here on Moscow. Um, we are really far ahead on Miltech, so that's fine. All right, let's wipe out that Polish army over here. Take on a little debt. Doesn't matter. Uh, National Manpower Modifier is fine. We're probably just going to separate piece out Poland and take all their lands. This is all land that I can add to the HRE. And I will. Alright, Poland. It was nice knowing you. Yeah. They'll pass up on it. They'll give it to me eventually. Um, Würzburg and... Saxony. Well, I guess I can just probably... If I can just separate piece them out, that's honestly good enough for me. Um, so Russia's got some men down here. We won the Siege of Moskva. Let's get down to Ryazan. See if we can... Catch him out over here. Lose some free stab. Alright, yeah. We are... Uh, we are certainly winning this war, so. I really need to get a general in that army. That is so ruthless. Or risky, is what I meant to say. Reckless is the word I was looking for. Alright, so. Reckless. Let's go ahead and break that down. Looks like Sweden is getting beat up on. Doesn't matter to me. Um, eventually we want to... Come on now. You ready to peace out, brother? You ready to join the fold, Poland? Very good. Let's core that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Finish up that siege, get a leader on there, and go over here to Nisi Novgorod or whatever. Get these all. Ooh, very nice. Free stab loss and rebels. Just doesn't get much better than that. So you're gonna give me all your money. Very good. Let's get over here to. Uh, let's go down here and take care of these rebels, I suppose. Um. Can I pay that off? Thank you. Um, I'll just wait on that. Not in a big hurry. How, how's the uh, institution coming along anyways? Okay. So we almost have it in the capital. So it'll be a little bit quicker after that. Same thing as we just did with... Um... um the Ottomans is we just need to stack up on their stack up their um, war exhaustion. So who's Russia allied to? If <laughs> just Sweden, that was it, and I made them betray them. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. All right. So get you guys down here. Get you guys over here. Where are those rebels at? 
down here. Very good. We'll see if we can get another nice stack wipe over here. Doesn't look like it. Nope. That's fine. Okay. Losing lots and lots of men. Just needlessly in attrition. And my leader died. So that's no good. So let's seek this siege. You're a good one. Come on down here. Take that river crossing penalty and give you guys a whooping. Alright. <clears throat> so. What do I really want? I mean, it's just a conquest, so I'm still taking a ton of AE from this. So I need to kind of be a little careful here. Um... Okay, very good. He's not going to take anything back in the meantime, so let's see here. Uh, let's also peace out Wurzburg, just because it doesn't matter to me. Um, dang, I can almost get a full peace offer out of you, Lithuania. Bring back like historical, like current day Lithuanian borders. <laughs> all right, and then give me some money. There we go. And that's all going to be joining the empire. So um, I'm over on my um, overextension, over a hundred, I should say. Might be an issue, might not. Let's get my army over here to. Uh... Where's my other one? I only have three. Dang. Alright, I screwed up my, uh... So let's get you guys over here in Kiev. Alright, and do... This. Bring you guys... Uh, let's find a place... Over here. Very good. Bring you up here. Typical naysayers. Jeez, oh Pete. Got people leaving left and right here. Um, let's do you, and... You. Some tax would probably be nice as well, but that's fine. So it looks like I actually lost some men. Somewhere along the line, somebody got stack wiped. I think it might have been in the war against the uh, Ottomans. So let's see if we can get a little bit of rebel suppression over here. Very good. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so some of these are gonna fire regardless, but it's good that we have um, have our men down there. All right, very good. So I can add all of this over here to the empire, which will be very good. I just took a ton of land over here. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Have you? They have built some more men up, which is good. I need Prussia to be juicy. I need to give them more land, honestly. More land for Prussia. Probably give them what's up here eventually. And I'm thinking two more years. Okay. Some Polish separatists. Get you guys over here. Kill them all. Kill them all. Very good. And that's probably a couple more up here. Can you. Can you kill the rebels, please? I will conquer them too. Um. Take the trade steering. Don't really care about Franz's opinion of me. If it hasn't been disgustingly apparent so far. 
Alright, Ragusa. Uh, Denmark, Norway, and Platinate. That's fine with me. We'll lower our points, but like I said, I'm not gonna... <coughs> not gonna revoke until I know exactly what I'm doing. I might actually do the Roman Holy Roman Empire. That'd be pretty cool. Ludwig died. Ooh, lost our heir, actually. Might be bad. Can I get a royal marriage with you? Will that... Hmm. Alright, that might end up being problematic. Let's go with state edicts over here. Yeah, I don't... Don't think we need to be paying for that anymore. Uh... Definitely don't need to be paying for that. Do we need any more states? East Adriatic, huh? What's next? Croatia. Stick with those for now. And overextensions reasonable now. Let's add a couple more provinces here. Alright, so I was 10 years short on what I suggested was our um, revoke. Pretty sure after we add these all to the HRE, we'll be able to revoke. Alright, very good. So let's add all these guys up. Very good. Very good. And we can revoke the privi privilegia. We're at war for a little bit now. <clears throat> Let's get everything converted as well. Where did I get a bunch more? Oh, Counter Reformation, right. I was like, how do I have five? I thought you only got three. <laughs> That makes sense. That does make sense. All right, let's get a couple more claims on you, the Auto Dirt. All right, Lithuania, I want a couple more claims on you. Russia, I can just holy war in the future, so that'd be good. He's allied to Korea. Very good. Um, Tim Rids, I need to find somebody who will fight, ma'am, or fight Ottoman against me. Or with me, alongside me. All right, let's get those built up. And uh, to everlasting friendship. All right, cool. So we got our new heir, Maximilian II, Teresa Benedicta, and they owe us some favors. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna do a quick bit of research, and I'm gonna see what the best way to handle this is, and I will bring you guys right back. All right. So I have an idea. Um. Oh. It's not cord, or it's not uh, added. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that all of this is added. Um, and so, I believe the way that it works is if you release a country as a vassal um, whose capital is in the empire, which is what I'm doing right now, is adding provinces to the empire. Um, when I release, when I revoke, it will actually make them a vassal for free and they will not take up a slot. And I believe that that's how this works. So let's try this out. Um, do we release Poland? 17 provinces? I'm not so sure about that. Polots, yes. So they're, okay, so they're a prince. Prince them in the empire. Okay, so Poland, Kiev. They are also Moldavia. Okay, um, Nitra. Let's release Poland, actually. Hungary, I'll keep. Transylvania, I'll release them. That's fine. Croatia, I will release. Bosnia, I will not release. Silesia, I'll keep. Bohemia, I'll keep. Serbia, I'll keep. So, Ragusa, no. 
Okay. Now let's hit the button. Demand their loyalty. Conquest against Bavaria. Oh, because they were reformed, they didn't join. Right. I bet that's how these two are as well. Okay, so he's a vassal and he's a vassal. So... Prussia now has really high liberty desire. But none of the other ones do. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way around that then. Um, okay, well, regardless, you always, this is something that you always do when you're in the Emperor and you revoke, you always divert trade and embargo rivals. I'm not going to do it for him. I'm going to figure out, I got to figure out a way to make him um, loyal because that's a kind of a big deal. My biggest vassal next to maybe... Poland. So the holy vassal swarm is going to be upon whoever I deem worthy. Wow, it's a lot of a lot of vassals here. My dog is being a little bit of a he's being a little needy right now. Dang, there's a lot of clicking. So Brabant and Aachen, very good. So the big thing is, is that if they do have a negative balance, you have to be careful because it's going to cause a lot of issues. So there we go. All of Eastern and Middle Europe. So who wants to be the first one to uh, get the hammer? France? Do we humiliate them? <laughs> I think we have to humiliate France. Um, man, how do I get you down? What do you have right now total? Probably... I mean, I don't even know how to really do it. I guess deving them? I guess I have plenty of points, I could do it. Um, what's this capital? Konigsberg? I'm gonna not use that one. So, are you still a... Okay, so he's actually low now. So I think the key is is that I have to annex him. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming is uh, is going to happen here. Transylvanian separatists. So let's uh, send a gift. Um, get that all the way up. And then annex him. So... Four years, I can do that, no problem. And then I'll actually add his cores and then I'll release him again. Big brain things. Uh, let's make you admin. Because once we get our next admin group, we're probably going to go with a humanist, is what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that. That's fine. Core all that. And then we can also convert for all of our vassals, which will be really good. Because we can sort by unity. Okay, very cool. Um, so let's sort by army size. Who's got the biggest army? Prussia, followed by Switzerland, actually. Okay, so let's actually have you guys on aggressive. Um, France is allied to you? So I have no vassals that have any claims on you. What about Tuscany? What about Venice? What about... 
I have a bunch of Poland lands. What about Kiev, Polotsk? Russia's got some lands of his. Huh, okay. So I'm not really sure the best way to move south moving forward would be. I wonder if the if the marches get um, any special things. That's your capital. Has the fort. Level 5 fort. Jeez. Very good. Alright. Um, Kaor in Africa. Is okay, whatever I suppose. So I will take. So he's got a claim on it. That is so weird. Okay. Um. Well, let's give this a try. See what the vassal swarm is capable of. Just let him speed five it. <laughs> How many men do we have in the field? Two hundred and thirty-seven k. I'll take that. Um. I think they'll eventually clear out these uh, rebels for me as well. <clears throat> Let's go with that. That should speed up our annexation as well of Prussia. Oh, crap. We don't have any points. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. We've truly been blessed. Yes. Yeah, the annexation is going to take a while. 16 a month. So we're getting one every two. So it'll take double. That's not a big deal, actually. We can handle that. All right, so let's get CN out of there. Give me all your money, boy. Very good. Now let my vassals get down to Napoli. So they just lose a ton to attrition because I don't think they really know exactly what they're doing together. They're just kind of swarming. I guess I don't really care a whole lot about... Um, as far as AE goes, but maybe I do a little bit. I'm not sure. Point <laughs> four a month. Really? 50 member states. That really cranked it up that much. Okay, cool. Very cool. Alright. We can call Sweden in if we really wanted to. If we wanted to get get us act, just go silly, dumb retarded. So now I wonder if I release a vassal, if it makes them this kind of vassal, if if they're an HRE vassal. I kind of assume so, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, truce with you ends the. November 15, so we'll be ready to declare for you. Um, so let's take all that. 87, jeez. Okay, that's a lot more manageable. Jeez, that's a lot. And we'll take as much money as you'll give me. And I get all of it because I'm the ringleader. Very cool. All right, so let's embrace global trade. And that will allow us to... That was, we're collecting 42. So we can collect anywhere we want, really. So let's collect over here. Matter of fact, we should probably move our capital over into the... Like, I could just move my capital to Camerick. It would cost me a lot, though. Yeah, so let's just collect here and check this out. Check out these numbers. So 42 up to 83. 500 ducats a month. Eh, my goodness. Is that real? Okay, 172. That's more realistic. But still, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Um, ah, crap. Our ruler died. Three-year-old regent. No, three-year-old um, heir. That's fine. All right, guys, that'll do it for this episode. I'm curious as to whether releasing 
a vassal makes them into a free vassal. I'm going to look into that and I will get the rest of that sorted out. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. So if, if you are enjoying the series, please leave a like. It really helps. Uh, showing your support for the channel, leaving a like is the best way to do that. And it takes literally no time for you. Uh, if you want to see more of this, you can subscribe. And if you hit the little bell icon, it'll actually send you a notification every time I upload. So with all that being said, this is Jewish Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.